This video demonstrates a posterior meniscus root repair using a retentionable knotless all suture anchor. Here are our relevant disclosures. A standard diagnostic arthroscopy of the left knee is performed in the supine position, revealing a posterior lateral meniscal root tear. With the knee in the figure 4 position, a point-to-point -point meniscal root marking hook is placed through the inferior medial portal with the precision aiming guide directly over the posterior meniscal root footprint. A 2.4 millimeter cannulated pen is used to drill a transtibial tunnel until it reaches the tip of the marking hook. The aiming guide is removed and the drill pen is advanced through the tibial plateau cortex. The looped end of a lasso wire is passed into the joint and retrieved through the inferior medial portal where it is exchanged for a fiber link suture. The suture lock implant is unpackaged and the distal end is loaded into the fiber link passing suture and shuttled retrograde through the inferior medial portal into the transtibial tunnel. The distal end of the suture lock implant at the anterior tibia is pulled until the suture lock loop is positioned deep to the tibial plateau. The anchor is set by pulling on the tensioning suture loop. After ensuring the anchor is seated, a safety hemostat is used to secure the main anchor sheath at the anterior tibia. The blue repair suture is loaded into a knee scorpion suture passer. Using the inferior medial portal, the blue repair suture is passed through the meniscal root tissue and shuttled back through the inferior medial portal. The blue repair suture is loaded into the blue and white conversion suture loop and folded at the purple ink mark indicator. After removing the safety hemostat from the main anchor sheath, the repair conversion suture construct is shuttled through the transtibial tunnel by pulling the blue and white striped conversion suture tail at the distal end of the implant. These steps are then repeated. Working through the inferior medial portal, the solid white repair suture is loaded into the knee scorpion suture passer, passed through the posterior meniscus root, and shuttled back outside the knee. The white repair suture is loaded through the loop of the white and black conversion suture and folded at the purple ink mark indicator. With the safety hemostat removed, the white and black conversion suture tail is used to shuttle the repair suture into the knotless mechanism. The suture lock implant repair sutures are differentially retentioned down to the anchor. A probe is used to confirm appropriate tension under direct visualization. Once a robust repair is achieved, the implant suture limbs are cut flush at the anterior tibial aperture. 